Well, here's a question. What do you do with people who are not found guilty of a crime, but they still pose a danger to themselves or others? It is a problem for local courts right now. You know, that's because Alabama doesn't have space to take care of people who are mentally challenged. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby joins us with a recent example right here in Mobile. Brendan. This is an issue Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich is sounding the alarm about. Just today, a judge delayed a man's release from jail, but the criminal justice system still doesn't know where to put him. This is Tyler Revel. Authorities charged him in 2019 with breaking into two homes in his West Mobile neighborhood. Prosecutors say the victims were terrorized. Surveillance video given the Fox 10 News by one of those victims shows Revel first ringing the doorbell and then forcing his way in. He was naked and bloody when police later found him running in the middle of Airport Boulevard. He told police that demons were chasing him and also admitted that he was high on methamphetamine. But when the case went to trial in December, Judge Michael Youngpeter found him not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect. That set up a new problem, what to do with the defendant. Technically, he's not guilty, so keeping him locked in jail indefinitely is legally problematic. There's also a shortage of beds at the state's Taylor Hardin Secure Medical Facility in Tuscaloosa. D.A. Rich says the state has a responsibility to hold Revel until he's no longer a threat. We're going to fight this every step of the way, and he should not be released from incarceration until he goes straight to Taylor Hardin and is held at Taylor Hardin until they make sure that he is competent to enter back into this community, because right now he's not. A psychiatrist testified at Revel's trial that he suffers from a schizoaffective disorder. The judge wrote in his order that the defendant, quote, poses a real and present threat of substantial harm to himself or others. The court has explored other options. Judge Young Peter earlier this month directed that he be placed in a mental health group home. But court records show that Alta Point Health determined it could not accept him. A hearing has been set for Wednesday. Revel's attorney argues that he should be released to his family. D.A. Rich tells me this is a problem prosecutors are seeing more frequently and not just people who have been found not guilty. In this same courtroom, there are questions over to release a defendant that the Department of Mental Health says is incompetent even to stand trial. Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News. Mobile County Health Officer Dr. Burt Eichold pitching an idea to the legislature a couple of years ago to renovate the closed Searcy Hospital in Mount Vernon. It was his vision that it could house people too dangerous to be treated in group homes. Our judges have limited options uh, at this point in time, and so there's an opportunity uh, for everyone to consider what would be a cost-effective way to make more beds available. Uh, for the Department of Corrections, and especially people who have underlying substance abuse problems that find themselves under conditions of confinement. The legislature nor the governor have yet to move on his proposal, which was offered in 2019.